the music retail show. All right, hey Richard, we're back for another episode. Yes, uh, man, we got Nam coming up next month, so we, super excited. This whole month, we're just talking about pushing for Nam. Yes, pushing absolutely. for Nam, pushing for Nam. So absolutely. And in fact, we actually have a great guest here today uh, via Skype. We yes. got Mark Despotakis of the Young Professionals of the Nam Association, and Mark, man, great to have you with us. Hi, Welcome. it's great to be with you guys. Yeah, very cool. Very and, cool. And he did a good job saying your last name. There's no I way I bonus, could say that. Bonus points right off the top. Yeah, yes, I know. Yes. Well, I had to. I had to. Well, yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, we're gonna we're gonna jump in and get started. We have a lot of questions uh, to ask that uh, uh, is is kind of elementary. I think I'm confused. I have been told things about you. But I think I'm going to find out you're not from the same state that I was told and things are a little bit different. So let's kick it off. And uh, I'm going to ask a simple question. Where are you from? I heard Georgia. Not Georgia. I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. OK. Is that where you're at right now? That's where I am right now. Nice. Yep. OK. And you have a music store in Georgia or um, uh, Pittsburgh, right? Right, we're a school music dealer that services most of Western Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. Okay, so that part was right, it's just the wrong state. So, no. Yeah. Well, hey, good. Tell us. Right. A... Percent's all right. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> no. So, how long have you been doing that? So, I started here in 2002. The business has been here since 1947, wow. um, and with a focus on school music programs for all of those years. Wow, very cool. Obviously, specifically band instruments, mostly. So band and orchestra instruments, um, you know, and, and anything that a school school might need. So some schools do guitar programs and we so we, we help out uh, there where necessary. But that is that's not our specialty. So it's it's the very the very core band and or orchestra is is what we do. OK, good. Now, you said 1947. Is that something that your dad started or your... your so, no, I'm not actually one of the owners, um, but the, the business was started by uh, the, the then band director of the school in our town uh, who saw the need uh, for a, a, another store. I guess there were, there were some businesses in town that were already servicing the school, but he just didn't think they were doing it well enough. So he decided we've got to start something else. Started it off at that point. It was very, very lesson based, gotcha. uh, of course, and did the rentals and some of the things that we do now. But it was very lesson based. And in fact, um, one of the interesting factoids about the business is that we offered baton twirling lessons, you know, like a majorette. What? Oh, wow. Okay. So the 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 head majorette from the high school actually was our first employee. She did the bookkeeping here back in 1947, okay. but she also gave baton twirling lessons. Um, so that was two buildings ago from where we are now. I've always been curious of how high the ceilings were in that building. <laughs> 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 even done that but the, but over the years um offered a whole variety uh of of lessons um and and not so much at this point we're more just into kind of we go to our customers and service school programs but but when it was started it was by a high school band director um who who just saw the need and thought he could he could very well serve the customers because he in fact was a customer wow that's very interesting I, I had no idea. I was told something completely different about you, and we'll talk about that at another day because you might you that. might find it very interesting. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> well, let's jump in now. What you, what is your current role with the Young Professionals? So I'm currently president of NAMYP. Okay. okay. And how long have you been the president there? So I've been the president uh, almost for two years. My term ends uh, when I get on the plane and head home from summer NAM. Oh, oh wow. Okay. How many years have you been in, in uh, Young Professionals? So I'm not quite sure how long that I've been involved, but it's been um, well over 10 years. Um, it's probably even closer to 15 years um, that I've been involved with it. And it's kind of, uh, it's changed over the years. Um, I, I've been on the board probably 10, 10 of those years. And then on our executive committee, which was our secretary, vice president, and now president um, for the past almost six years now. Wow. Okay. Now, are you going to remain with the young professionals or do, or once you uh, are done being a president, they kind of kick you out of the group? No, they give me more work or well, they give me different work, I guess. <laughs> uh, stay on for two years as a board member, as the past president. Um, and then um, we have this mentorship program, which I imagine we'll, we'll talk about in yeah. a little bit. Yes. Um, but uh, I stay on and, and kind of uh, work in that uh, for the two years that I'm in the past president. So I'm still on the board for two more years. Yeah. Okay. 
Interesting. Now, what what is the process for them to vote in like a new president? Are you part of that or? So um, basically what we do is that's the, the, the much like uh, uh, NAM does it, that's decided from within. So our board uh, makes a recommendation of who will be the secretary. And that person is then tracked into the secretary for year, two years, vice okay. president for two years, president for two years. Um, but that does require a, a vote of our, our, our whole uh, membership, which does happen at Summer NAM, and we also will vote on some uh, new board members at Summer NAM as well. Wow, that's so it's cool. kind of a track. You get on a track, and you kind of move through the different positions, and then, okay, yeah, very cool. Right. Right. Now, uh, talking about the young professionals, what are some of the requirements that it takes? Because now we're going to have a lot of people listening that are of the age group. Uh, and, and that's also going to be a question uh, you might want to answer that is uh, what, what are the requirements to be in the young professional and what's kind of the age gap there? So we give you a test and make sure that you only like certain types of music from when you were born. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> so, wow. uh, uh, so no, you, basically the requirement is that uh, you have to be under 40. So it's an organization for okay. uh, anyone under 40 in the industry um, and that you have to work for a NAM member company. Uh, so you have to be a NAM member, obviously. Yeah. And uh, if people want to do that, they can just go to our website at namyp.com, and it takes you right to a page on the NAM website where you sign up, um, get you on our email newsletter, you get to find out uh, when and where we do things, and that is essentially how you sign up to be a member of NAMYP. So anybody under 40 years old that works at a music store or manages a music store that is part of NAM, they're they're welcome to join. Sure, and it's not limited to stores. It's 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 the retail side, but it's also the manufacturing side. It's the distributing side, and and okay. now if you look Very at true. the NAM show with the addition of ACC North and all of those those pro lighting and pro sound and all of that whole new section to what we see when we go to Anaheim, gotcha. all of those folks, as long as they're as long as they're NAM members, are welcome to join us, and and we really do welcome them, oh, wow. welcome them to come in and be part of what we're doing because we want that part of the industry represented as well. So what are some of the things that you guys do as young professionals? I mean, what what, what is the attraction? So let me just let me give you a little bit of the history as I understand it. So back whenever NAMYP was started, and I don't know what that time frame is, but we're we're talking you know, decades, probably 50, 60 years ago at, at minimum, um, the NAMYP members were were seen at the NAM show and they wore these red coats and they had the NAMYP logo on them. In fact, a couple years ago, we had red t-shirts made to kind of look like that. But they were the ambassadors at the NAM show. They were okay. kind of the creators and helped people explain where to go. And, and I guess that's kind of was that original uh, learning to network uh, thing because that, in that, that position. Um, it evolved over the years um, that it became uh, more of a social thing. So at each show, there was a social meetup um, for NAMYP. Um, you know, as I recall, my first few years, it was at the ESPN Zone in Anaheim. And then in Nashville, it was somewhere different every year because there's so many different options. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So probably six, uh, six to eight years ago at this point, um, we kind of redesigned uh, what NAMYP was and still kept that element of it, of there's that social factor, but we added an educational component to it. And we said at each show, we are going to have a speaker or a panel or something that's also incorporated with this social event that we do. Um, so it's kind of changed over the years and how we've done it and the speakers that we've had, but we try to get some big names in the industry who are are going to be able to provide our members with some takeaways. And that's one of the things that's really important to me that I love to have somebody come and share their story. And that's, that's great. But for some of these big names, we can all find that ourselves on YouTube yeah. and we can do that. We can Google that information. I want a takeaway. What's the takeaway for our membership? And that's what these events are. So we have an event that happens at each show. Um, it's, our traditional time slot is four o'clock on Friday afternoon at each show, and we bring in. Um, we've had Chris Martin speak. Um, we've had Joel Menchie speak. A whole variety of people have come in, and they provide some takeaways for our members about what's important in their career. And then immediately following that session, we always have a networking reception. So our members can network with each other, network with the speaker, um, and it's it's really a fantastic uh, event for our membership. 
Interesting. Man, very cool. Yeah. Have you seen, uh, have you been seeing membership grow over the years, over the last 10 years? Absolutely. We've had the great problem of finding a space that will hold us when we are at the NAMM show. Um, so we, we had started at one point, we were in meeting rooms and then that became too small for, uh, uh, we couldn't fit in there. So we moved over to the member center. Um, that didn't work out because we got so big. So now we do it in the idea center, which is right when you come into the convention center, that big area where they do all the NAMU sessions. Uh, that works out really well for us. And then we move down to the member center and have our reception after uh, we have it there. Oh mm. man, that's excellent. That's a, I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure. Obviously, for you, uh, you're kind of proud of that. How you've seen it grow grow over the years. So you know, I, I'm sure that you guys are trying to instill in uh, young uh, people in the music industry that they need to become more and more involved. I mean, when we talk to Cosby, you know, the big deal is is trying to get people more involved so are you seeing that with the young people now are they becoming more involved are they owning their own businesses what what's kind of the trend right now with young people yeah absolutely and i think you know one of our challenges early on was how do you get to the right person in the in the nam member company that would be want to be involved in nam yp because traditionally the nam yp mailings would go to whoever's name is the voting member for nam well they might have included some information about here's this yp thing but never knew if it was actually trickling down to the right people so over the past probably 10 years or so nam has really made a concerted effort to try to solve that problem and open up the communication channels to other people and companies not just the, the voting member who would get all of the communication so that's really helped us then find those people and now they're more involved with us in a variety of ways be it on social media uh be it at our in-person events or things like that so there there is a there's a variety of ways that they can be involved so yeah to your to your question about you know how what do we see well that's what we're learning too as we do this so we've put out some surveys and say to to members okay so what are the problems you're facing um is it marketing um is it writing a business plan a whole variety of things what are you facing in your business and that and that helps us say okay who is the right speaker to have come in for our events at the show uh, and who can address some of these issues um, and answer those questions uh, because they've lived through it, either um, had great success in it or what I kind of like more is we tried this and it didn't work and here's what we learned from it. Mm -hmm. And so that's something that they can then go and tell our members. Okay. Very cool. So uh, we have a, a unique opportunity today. We have a young man that's behind me. You could probably see him from there. His name's Matt D. He has a, uh, he sells online and has a company called Drop D. Uh, I think it's Drop D Music. He can clarify that. But a question that he asked, he was in my office when we were uh, kind of going over some things is, how do you guys keep in touch throughout the year? Do you have a Facebook group? Um, I guess uh, the question was spawned upon, is it just winter NAM, summer NAM, and then after that you guys don't connect much? Or throughout the whole year, how do you guys stay in touch? And this comes from Matt back here. Sure. Okay. So yeah, namyp.com is kind of the, the landing page for everything that we do. So you can find out about the projects that we have there. But uh, we all live in this world of social media, right? Yeah. So of course, we have a very active Facebook page. You can link to it from namyp.com or just go on Facebook and, and look for NAM Young Professionals. Um, and so we try to provide content on there um, weekly and even a few times a week um, that is relevant to our membership. Um, in addition to saying, here's what's coming up at a NAM show, what, uh, we try to post relevant articles. We try to post questions to to uh, raise some conversation between our members. One of the things that we actually did was we took, Joel Menchie was our speaker at the NAM show in Anaheim. Mm -hmm. So what we did was we took the video of Joel and Joel did this amazing job of breaking down here are 
like one, two, three, four, five, six takeaways, okay? And really in a very digestible format. So we took that video and we've cut that down into even a smaller digestible format and we post them every couple of weeks and I think they're calling them Menchie Moments. And and here are some of Joel's takeaways yeah. because we live in this video age, right? And, and, and mm-hmm. that's more digestible for folks. Mm-hmm. So we're posting those up there to say, here's some great ideas. And by the way, don't forget to join us at Summer NAM. So so uh, our Facebook page is very active. We have an Instagram page. We have a, a Twitter account as well. But the Facebook page um, is the most active. One of the also the new things that we're we're doing um, that is really just started that we hoped is a, is a way to uh, get our members more involved is and again based on something that Joel Menchie suggested to us is let's get a reading list going. Like, so what books would you recommend to someone else, another YP member, that you think might be valuable in in any way, in their career, in their personal life, and whatever it is? Um, So we have a form that you can sign up for that at namyp.com. There's a theme here, right? Namyp.com. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, uh, So uh, you can sign up for this uh, on this form on the page and say, hey, here's a book I recommend, here's why. And then in the coming months, we're going to start pushing that information out and saying, here's a book recommended and here's why they thought this was a great recommendation. So another way just to kind of be a little bit more interactive with our membership. Okay. I think that's a great idea. I like reading a lot and I learn a lot uh, from reading books, especially with people with a great business experience. So I think that's a great idea. I like that. So. What's uh what right now uh, right here right now? What's the number one book you would have your uh, young professionals say you say they need to read? So uh, I don't know if you guys know Chip Averwater from Amro Music. Um, so a couple of years ago, he wrote a book called Retail. Let me, I'm looking at my shelf. Retail Truths. That's the right name of it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I just want to make sure he just released another book um, as well, and I'm for, I'm blanking on the name of it. Um, but it's more about the, the one he just released is more about working with employees. But this Retail Truths book, um, I looked at it because it's just right here on my shelf. And there are probably 25 or 30 post-it notes um, that I have in there of here's a great thing to go back to. And I do go back wow. and I look through this book every once in a while. And I think it's 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 not it's called Retail Truths, but I think um, it, it, it could be valuable to any any person in the industry. Um, it's. So uh, Chip, so successful in Amro Music in Tennessee, um, retired from the company now, former NAM chairman, um, and just one of the nicest human beings you will ever meet. Um, so if you see him at a NAM show, um, you know, absolutely go and talk to him. But I recommend his book, Retail Truths. Chip what, Averwater. What was his name one more time? Chip Averwater. Chip Averwater. Okay. Well, okay. yeah, I guess we'll just have to recommend that to our listeners that they need to. Or or Matt, you need to read that, pick up that book. We'll, we'll have it. to read it to know what we're recommending. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I just it, it, It's one of these books that like I just love actionable takeaways. And yeah. I love lists, I think, too. And this book is written in such a way of um, I've even heard companies that what they do is every day they send around one of his retail truths yeah. to the whole company. Oh, wow. So it's written in that way that you can, you know, here, here's number one today. You know, it's very digestible. So it's called Retail Truths. Yeah. Speaking if I had it, I'd hold it up like I was on a talk show. Yeah, that's right. Speaking of <laughs> actionable takeaways, what are you trying to instill or what is the big takeaway of the two times a year the, the young professionals get together? I mean, right now in 2019, the world's changing fast. Things are moving, you know. I'm sure retail is obviously different now than it was 10 years ago, and it's going to be different quicker. You know, what's the big takeaway that you are trying to instill uh, in your members right now? So I I don't know that we go at it with that perspective and say, you know, this is what we want someone to get out of it. I mean, from NAMYP as a whole, what we want people to do is connect. We Hmm. want folks... um, who are the young folks in the industry to realize that, first of all, this is a really great industry and there's lots of different opportunities uh, in this industry. But what we have heard over the years is um, someone's in a company and they're working with folks who have who've been there for 20 or 30 years and they're just the new hire. And especially with the dawn of social media, this was big a few years ago, when a young person who, you know, who lives on social media, right, comes into a company and this company doesn't have social media and doesn't understand the power of social media. So 
a young person coming in might feel like they're hitting their head against the wall because we're working with folks who don't understand how this could be so beneficial to what they're doing in their business. So that's just an example. To be able to come to a, a NAM show and then you're connecting with other folks who are doing the same thing as you are and might be up against that same type of challenge, that's really a great thing for them to understand and to realize, wow, okay, uh, now I know somebody who's three states away from me who is dealing with the same issue. I can connect with them after the show. Um, so that's it's really about making the connection. I can't tell you how many times I've faced something in our business, and I know other folks who are doing essentially the same thing that we're doing. And I can say, okay, so, hey, I'm having like, this issue, um, you have any thoughts? And because I made the connection through YP, um, I'm able I'm able to to get some ideas and bounce some ideas off of them. So support is it, technically, I guess, if you want to say a takeaway, it's like you are you are a, um, a honed in support group for for young professionals. Yeah, I think that that's a good way to put it. Yeah, so we're 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 connecting folks and then allowing them to be able to get that support. Yep. Actually, one of the questions we thought was a good one we were thinking about earlier is is do you have any really good success stories of people who have joined uh, the young professionals and and you could talk about it. That's another one from Matt back here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, it's <sighs> if I look back at members. You know, from from years ago, you look at Mark Goff, who owns Pages Music in Indianapolis, former he started kind of his NAM journey as NAM YP president. Um, and, and, and he was involved in NAM YP and then he was on the NAM board and then he was NAM chair and went through that whole cycle of eight years of, of being a, a, on the NAM executive committee. Uh, so that's one. Steve West from West Music um, is, is another one. And and Steve's son. Uh, and Steve actually, I believe, um, has a picture somewhere, and you might even still have it, of the red coat. So he was one of those original red coat greeters all those years ago. Um, so his son, Ryan, was my predecessor as president of YP. Uh, so uh, th th those are two really good examples of folks that I looked up to um, for what they did in their business, because their business is very similar to what we do, um, who went through the YP program, and now I've been able to make connections through because they're YP alumni from however many years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and and obviously I've been very successful. But there's so many other stories um, that are successes, and we're creating hopefully new successful stories based on this new mentorship program um, that we've started within the last year and a half or so. Um, and I imagine a lot of the folks that you see in this program will be the future leaders of our industry. And tell us about that mentor program, because that is a question that I had down, and I, I'm very curious about that. So um, as we continued to grow, and, you know, I said we started, it was kind of this social thing, and then we decided we're going to add this educational piece. Um, once we got that all down, we said, okay, what's the next challenge? What's the next thing that we can take on? And, and we had had some folks say, boy, wouldn't a mentorship program be great? So... Uh, we we started one and we launched our first class um, at last year's Summer NAM, at 2018 Summer NAM. And um, we're very deliberate in how we do this. We're not just saying, okay, you want to be a mentor, you want to be a mentee, here you go. Um, we ask people to fill out a questionnaire um, and answer some basic questions about what are you looking for, what type of business are you in, and then we have a committee that is very deliberate um, in trying to match the right mentee with the right mentor. Um, so at each show, so in, in January and July, we launch, our goal is about five to seven pairings. So we're not launching dozens at a time. Yeah. We're launching five to seven. It's a year-long commitment that we ask both of them to be involved in. And um, there's an in-person meeting at the show, but then after that, we ask them to commit an hour a month to talking through uh, whatever it is that the issues that they have set out as goals for this pairing. Um, so it's one year as a formal commitment. Uh, beyond that, if they would choose to, to continue, that is on them. Um, but we ask them to do this for one year. And, and again, more information on that is at namyp.com. The first class graduates um, here at Summer NAM this year, uh, but we've, we've 
we've picked up feedback uh, along the way because there's a very deliberate process in how we do this um, to make sure that we're not just sending them out and then, okay, we'll see you in a year. Yeah. Um, it's a very deliberate from our perspective as well to make sure that we're speaking with both the mentor and the mentee throughout the process to make sure that this is working uh, for them. Number one. Number two, is there anything that we need to do to improve the program for future classes? So we launched one, a class at Summer NAM 18. We launched a class at the NAM Show 2019, and we will be launching another class at Summer NAM 2019. And we just hope that this continues to grow. Okay. You, you just launched another one at win, Winter NAM is what you're saying. Yep. Okay. All right. So you'll have two classes per year once the cycle goes. Right. Okay. Mark, that sounds like a great program. I wish I was 40 or younger. <laughs> I'd, I'd be well, in your hey, group. <laughs> you, you can be a mentor. Oh, there you go. Uh, hey. Yeah. Boy, he knows how to rope people in, mm -hmm. don't he? <laughs> no, com is where you can sign up. Well, that sounds like a good program, and it's it's an awesome thing to do. I wish I knew about it because I've been in the, this industry for a long time, and I could have taken advantage of that, and I just never heard about it. So I'm, I'm glad that we can talk about it right now and let other people know because uh, I have learned over the last couple of years that NAM as an organization has a lot more going on than than i ever knew and i've been in this industry a long time i don't know if it's just uh you know changing of the guard a little bit has exposed some of these things but there is a lot of good stuff going on with nam like the young professionals uh you had talked about uh uh time you know you wanted a year commitment but let's back up a little bit and we have some people that are probably listening to this that are interested and a question that they might have say well i don't know if i want a mentor yet but what is my commitment to young professionals? Do you have any kind of commitment or is there any kind of standard or what, what, uh, what, what would you say with that? Just to be involved, just to be involved. No. Yeah. So there's no commitment other than uh, you're under 40 and you sign up for the mailing list. Um, and we realize that in many companies, those, those under 40 folks might not be able to make it to the show because that's just kind of the structure of, of the industry, that businesses aren't necessarily taking everyone from their company to a show. So that's why we do things like at, the, at, at Winter NAM, we live stream our education event. Gotcha. And that's why we have the Facebook page and we try to get people as involved as possible and say, hey, here's some recommendations for a great article or the, the Menchie Moments thing that we've started. Mm -hmm. we, we, we try to engage folks uh, on that platform as well if they can't make it to the show. So, no, there's no actual requirement. There's no actual commitment. Um, you know, if, if people can come and join us at either show, that's fantastic. We're it's four to six every Friday. Um at each show, that is our time. Four o'clock is the education event. Five o'clock uh, is the networking reception. And actually, another thing that we've kind of added because we found out people just wanted more YP, if you will, is we do an unofficial uh, social event on the on usually Thursday night of each show. Um, traditionally, uh, in Anaheim, we went bowling. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but this past year, we actually changed things up a little bit, and we went to the pool deck at the Hilton and just did kind of a networking reception and an ice cream social. No oh, fun. And Man. it was it was really fantastic. It it was it was we had a you know a ton of people there. Great, just like we've all been at the show all day, and we just want to kind of relax. Yeah. So it's very informal. And we do the same thing at Summer Nam. It's just a little bit different. We go to the Flying Saucer, uh, and we will be there this year at eight o'clock on Thursday night. Um, it's a great place to hang out um, if you like beer. Uh, they got a great can, selection of beer there. Yes, yeah, so you can find anything you. Could Anything ever that's ever been made, it seems Ex like. That's exactly right. Uh, great food there. They have a little room for us. Um, people can play darts in there. There's couches in there. There's tables in there. You can come for dinner. You can come for snacks. Whatever works for you. Uh, it's just kind of an informal get-together. Um, because what's been really interesting on that night is because Summer NAM is, is, is obviously different from Winter NAM. So it's the vibe is, is different. Um, I'm amazed um, at how many people at Summer NAM I have met at our Thursday night event who this is the first – time they've been to a NAM show and they're the only one there from their company because they wanted to see what this whole NAM thing was about and they're they're just at the show and they heard about this thing well 
that was me many years ago. I remember the my very first NAM show was Summer NAM, and I was there by myself, and I had no idea what I was walking into. Yeah. Um, mm. And so having this this very relaxed, easy environment uh, for those folks to come. And now you walk out of there, you've met five, ten, maybe even more folks yeah. um, who now are lifelong connections in the industry because you went and shared at, at and just showed up uh, at this event. Because you got to eat anyway, right? So yeah. why not come join us at Flying Saucer? Very, very cool. Yeah, and I would say social media too, man. It's obviously kind of cool. You probably have a lot of people that make connections throughout the year, and then maybe they can come to NAM and actually, you know, kind of meet in person. Yeah. So it's even yeah, exactly. it's solidifying a lot of those relationships. So, but uh, yeah, it sounds like uh, sounds like those parties get pretty crazy. Yeah, uh, well, <laughs> the craziest was probably, and I won't tell all the stories, but a few years ago when um, we did the Mechanical Bull in Nashville. Oh, wow. <laughs> did you really? Yes, we don't do that anymore. Oh, yeah, that was a <laughs> little don't. too crazy. No, you haven't yeah. had the police called on you yet, have you? We have not, so okay. let's keep that way. <laughs> okay. How fun. Yeah. Now, you had talked about some of the, the people that uh, wanted to be part of the mentor program from uh, the young professional. Now, let's back up and talk about the someone like me that might say, hey, you know, I'm intrigued by this because I'm a actually asking because you've intrigued me. So tell me what would that look like for someone like me who wants to give back and be a mentor, what, what, uh, what should I expect? What should I um, expect to do uh, to be a mentor to someone? What does that look like? So that process is, is essentially um, very similar to what we asked the mentee to do. So we asked, you know, if you want to be a mentor, we direct folks to namyp.com. And there is a form there. It says if you want to be a, a mentor. And so, of course, we collect the basic information, but then we want to know a little bit about what are the areas of strength that you might be able to, to bring um, to a pairing. Um, so what you can expect, and, and we tell people that, look, we're doing this very deliberately, so it's five to seven pairings per show. So we have dozens of folks on the list who want to be involved in this. Um, and just because you signed up now and weren't picked for the next mentoring class doesn't mean that we don't want you, and it doesn't mean that you're out of the mix. Uh, it just means that we have a high demand, but we're, we're trying to do this very deliberately and do it the right way. Gotcha. Um, so what what a mentor can expect once they're selected is, you know, we, we would do this pairing and say, look, we have talked, we, we've talked internally and we think that you would be good with this person. Um, and then we would ask that at whatever the next show is where your class would launch that you're there for this. We have an event at the show where that's our mentoring event where you would come and you would first meet your mentee. And then from there, it's kind of on you to say, all right, what's our schedule? We want to, you guys want to meet once a month. It's between you and the mentee to figure that out. Um, and then our committee will be checking in per, uh, periodically to say, all right, so how's this going? Um, uh, or is it good for you on your side? What's the feedback that you're getting? Because we want to make sure that it's, that it's happening right. And it's really interesting to hear the feedback from the mentors who tell us, they weren't sure what they were going to get out of this. Um, and arguably neither were we, right? Because, you know, this is this was so new for what we were doing. But they are telling us how much as a mentor that they feel that they are learning yeah. ah, gotcha. getting out yeah. of this as well because they're talking to someone who uh, is providing a different perspective potentially than what their perspective is. Um, and they can say essentially the same thing that the mentor is saying wow, okay, this is something that somebody's doing in their business, uh, and maybe that could work in our business. And and, and we, we ask the mentors to not be there to solve the problem for the mentee. So we don't want the mentee to say, this happened yesterday, tell me what I'm supposed to do. Mm, gotcha. And that's not what we want this to be. We want them to help the, the, the mentor to help the mentee grow and then help think through things um, and then help them grow as a person. I, and I – as the feedback that we've gotten is that 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 process just kind of naturally evolves uh, as they talk to each other. Very cool. So let's tell everybody uh, somebody wants to get involved. Somebody's wanting to check you out. Where where, where should they do that? Obviously, go to the website. But uh, if they're coming to the Summer Nam show, where do we need to meet and group up at? 
Sure. So, uh, again, the best place to find everything is namyp.com, which links to our social media pages. Um, Facebook is generally the most updated. But if you're coming to Summer NAM, um, some events, Thursday night, Flying Saucer at 8 o'clock, uh, informal, um, come as you are. Um, you get drinks, you can get food, whatever works for you. Um, we'll be hanging out there for a couple of hours uh, on Thursday night. And then Friday at 4 o'clock, um, I believe it's in room 201. It's in room 201 or 203, but it's all on the website, yeah. um, is our education session. Um, and we have J.C. Curley from Gibson yeah. uh, joining mm-hmm. us. Um, he'll be talking with us for an hour or so, taking some questions from the audience. And then at five o'clock, we'll be right in that same room uh, and we just have a networking reception um, so that you get to meet some fellow NAMYP folks for the first time or maybe folks you, 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 know, you haven't seen for a year or six months or so. That sounds awesome. I'm yeah. interested in it. You might see me on Friday because I might come down and hang out with you guys. And uh, you never know. Please I may do. throw my name in the hat and see if I'm one of the five, six, seven that you pick. And if yeah. not, I'll take my ball and go home. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just joking. No, uh, I, man, I you have answered a lot of my questions. Yeah. Nate, what do you No, think? I mean, I just, I think at the end of the day, I mean, we need to get the word out that more people who are, you know, under 40 need to be involved. Yes. Um, I, I guess the big thing, as I caught it earlier, that kind of the bottleneck for you is, is the main p- communication point is the voting members. And then trying to get those voting members to get down to the people that work for them that are in this age group. So, so that, you know. that, that's and, and that NAM has done a fantastic job. You mentioned Cosby, who we work with so closely, uh, has done a fantastic job to to help us get out of that bottleneck. Yeah. Uh, and that it's really easy for folks to sign up for our specific email list, which then makes you a member of NAM YP. Yeah. Which gotcha. the cost is zero. Zero. Zero dollars. So everybody wow. needs to be involved. Under 40, you need to be involved. They Now, they don't have to be a member of NAM. Do they just have to work for somebody? Right. So NAM's membership is based on companies. So there's not necessarily a specific uh, person that's a NAM member. Right. So as long as your company is a NAM member company, yeah. uh, this, this is just kind of one of those side benefits uh, of being involved. So I'm going to introduce you to Matt D. And I'm going to connect you guys via email because he's a Perfect. good young man. That I I told him earlier he needs to be involved with you guys. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get him to uh, to get in with you, and uh, make him jump in with you. So I'm putting Perfect. him on the spot right now. So sounds yeah. good. And Josh, Josh, and Josh. Yeah, we, we got a, we got a couple people. We have a that lot we need of dealers that we need to get to you. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, you got us know. fired up. Now well, we got to fire up other people. Get them there. I that's, know. Like, that's what we want to do. Is there anything else that you want to bring up that maybe we didn't touch on? Uh, I think we covered it. Uh, I mean, again, uh, everything at namyp.com. One other thing about the mentorship program, we do have an FAQ document um, on the website that people can take a look at if they, they're kind of unsure, want to learn a little more information. We put together some of the, the, the questions we hear the most uh, on there. Okay, right. man, I'm excited. I, yeah, I hope uh, obviously uh, uh, young professionals are the future of the music industry. So we hope all the success uh, comes to you uh, in the years to come. So thank you. Yeah, thank you guys for helping to promote it. Absolutely, yeah. Mark, you Absolutely. did a great job. Uh, we'll see you here probably in a couple months. So you'll see us at the show. Yeah, I'd love to meet yeah. you face face to face. Absolutely. Now that I know you're not from Georgia. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> never man. been from Georgia. <laughs> I gotta find out. I gotta get back to the person yeah. who told me all these stories, man. You may, uh, mm-hmm. well, you didn't say nothing about being prison or uh, anything yeah. like that. So no, you're no, good. Yeah. So no, well, I'm just kidding. No. So anyways, well, we appreciate it. Yeah, Mark, that was perfect. It, yes, it was, and we'll see you here in a couple months, and we'll have to have you back. Maybe next summer we can do it again. Sounds good. All, all right. right. Thanks, Thanks, man. Mark. Have a good day. You we'll too. We'll see you. The Music Retail Show.